This is a remote controlled power switch I purchased from Amazon. It comes uh, with a package that has uh, one remote control and three of these power sockets uh, at about $25 and so that's pretty inexpensive. Uh, my goal here is to reverse engineer the uh, signal from the remote control and so I can simulate this uh, using my Arduino and so that I can use a, a program to uh, control these uh, power sockets. Um, now to begin with, uh, let's see if I press these buttons, you can see that it uh, turns on or off the corresponding uh, power socket and I have a uh, um, you know, wall plug LED light here to uh, indicate uh, the status of the power switch. And uh, here is the uh, schematic of the remote control. Um, there is a 12 volt power supply. Uh, it turns out that you can also use uh, a lower voltage like 5 volt is fine. Uh, it's, you know, the higher voltage, the longer transmission range you will get. And uh, this part is the RF transmitter uh, circuit. Um, so if I uh, put an oscilloscope between the uh, 47 kilo ohm resistor and ground, I should be able to find out the pattern of the signal uh, when I press a button. So let's do that. So here I have connected an oscilloscope between the 47 kilo ohm resistor and ground. So um, when I press a button, um, you can watch the signal uh, being sent to the um, uh, transmitter circuit uh, on the oscilloscope. And uh, so let me adjust the horizontal resolution so that we can see uh, the signal uh, more clearly. So you can see that basically the same uh, sequence uh, has been repeatedly sent. Um, I think this is for robustness reasons. Um, so let's capture a snapshot of the signal. So here is a snapshot of the signal and I can zoom in to check it in detail. So basically each sequence consists of two types of basic uh, patterns. One is a short uh, one followed by a, a long zero and this I call it as a zero uh, together. And the other type is a long one followed by a short zero, and I call this as a one. You can also easily uh, check the, uh, uh, the, the, the length or the timing uh, of uh, each pattern. So the, the long ones here, if you count the number of blocks, uh, and so I'm on a unit of 100 uh, microseconds here, so one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. So this long one is basically 500 uh, microsecond. And then uh, this short zero, uh, you can see it's roughly 100, uh, maybe 160 or 170 uh, microsecond. And then this short one is similar. This is actually the same uh, length as uh, this short zero here. It turns out uh, I can easily simulate the remote control by using uh, an RF uh, transmitter like this one. So this is a 433 MHz RF transmitter I purchased from uh, SparkFun. The connection is very simple. It has a ground pin, um, a power uh, supply pin, and uh, an antenna pin, and then also a data pin. So I can connect the data pin to any of my uh, Arduino I.O. pins and uh, I can send the signal which I just analyzed to this uh, data pin and then I should be able to control my power sockets. So I've implemented the circuit by using an Arduino and a protoshield and this is the RF transmitter. Um, the data pin is connected to Arduino pin 10 and this is a small antenna. Here's a program I've written. Um, it's basically in the main loop. Uh, it's sending uh, the, uh, the signal to uh, socket number one uh, you know, every five seconds to toggle that socket. And then this function here is in charge of the actually sending the signal. So it repeats every sequence 16 times for robustness reasons. And then it sends the signature part and uh, the command part uh, 
according to the pattern I analyzed. So now let me upload this program to the Arduino. So now uh, once it starts, you can see that the corresponding power socket, which is number one, is now being toggled every five seconds. And you can uh, tell that from the, uh, the LED that's connected to this power socket. So that's it. Thanks for watching.